I think the home study was first. You talk about the home study. The questionnaire was first. Okay, go ahead. The question, the, the like 90 question questionnaire that was asked about what my, like, what kind of neighborhood did I grow up in? Was it urban or was it rural? Did I talk to my neighbors? Um, well, how did you, how did I learn your discipline? How was I disciplined? What's my relationship like with my father? What's my relationship like with my mother? How did you learn about sex? How were you taught about sex was on this questionnaire. We're middle class white people, you know, and we recognize immediately how these questions were particularly targeting poor people of color. You know, it, this process was extremely hard for us and totally inconvenient and humiliating and dehumanizing and all of those things. And we also recognize how there were the other obstacles that were set up for, for other pe people that we didn't have to experience. So then after three letters of my character from people in my life asking for, I guess, a letter saying how good of a parent I would, they think I would be, and then all of my financial records and bank account information. At this point, Jesse has already been not only the parent, but the primary caretaker. So I went back to work when um, our child was about four months old and Jesse left their job and became the full-time primary caregiver for our child. So at this point, it was, I mean, it was already beyond absurd to be trying to prove that Jesse is our child's parent, but it, it just seemed even more, um, you know, just completely ridiculous. So, so then they came to our home and, you know, again, it came up of like recognition of class and race came up in that, you know, the person walks through the door, he looks around and says, oh, you have a nice house. It's like, like, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I think so. And I'm thankful that you think so because of the power dynamic right now. And like, that's an interesting, odd thing to say at this moment. Um, and, you know, and then he pulls out the questionnaire and he starts re-asking me all the questions I've already asked uh, or already answered on the questionnaire. And, and he gets to the end and he's just like, so why do you want to adopt your child? He's like, I found your answer to be like short. And I was just like, I want to adopt my child so that I have legal rights should something happen to Ellen, my spouse. And he was like, well, wouldn't you want it to be so that you can like complete your family? So that, so that it could, you know, you could really become one. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, no, of course not. Like, we are one. This is a legal hoop that we have to go through. This will change absolutely nothing about who our family is and what we are to each other. So it was a hard, that was a hard day. Yeah. And I think this is where our, our mind started rolling of like, oh, we need to be a part of the change um, yeah. so that other families don't have to go through this. The attitude is still in this archaic place. Like we need a radical shift in the whole mindset of what's going on in this state, never mind the country, um, in order to have this be a, um, a humane process and maybe even never even needed.